Alright, in today's video, I will be reviewing the DC Multiverse um, Red Hood figure from Mattel that goes and builds you the Killer Croc if you can get all the figures. Um, I'll also be talking about this um, Funko product. It's a Mega Man um, Funko Pop with a shirt. It was a GameStop sale, and I think it was like they were like ten dollars or something like that. Normally they're like thirty, but they also had some DC characters, like the comics, and they were like black and white Funko Pops. But I kind of wanted the Mega Man shirt, and the Pops a nice bonus. So let's see exactly what this thing looks like. So I have obviously not opened it yet. I've been waiting for this video. All right. If you do like it, this kind of stuff, or want to hear about sales, um, please like and subscribe. And if you do, please feel free to make a comment. I'm, I'm always curious, like, which of my videos attract my viewers and entices them to subscribe. All right. I don't think any of them are like the action figure reviews, but I'm doing them just for fun. All right. So the Funko. Um, he is the Napalm Bomb version of Mega Man, which I did not know about. Um, yep, he's pretty cool. Here's other characters they make. There's standard Mega Man's 102, there's 103, which is Rush. Proto Man is 104, and 105 is Dr. Wily. But, yeah, I think that's kind of cool. I also like the color scheme. So... Then we got this shirt here. Which I also like the colors on this. Um, but it's it's pretty cool. Um I ordered the extra large. And after I wash it, I will determine if someday I need to order a large because, you know, sometimes shirts are baggier than others. And I don't want it too tight, but I don't want it too super baggy. All right, so on to the main event. I hope you found that somewhat interesting. All right, so, yeah, if you were to try to build the Killer Croc to get his head and lower torso, um, you would need the KGB Beast. The big torso piece comes with a katana. Alfred, who's very hard to get, um, comes with the right arm. Red Hood comes with the right leg. And Dick Grayson as Batman comes with the left leg. And Robin, Tim Drake Robin, comes with the left arm. Um, like I said, and I also have a review for the Alfred figure. Um... As far as I know, your best bet of getting these is you're probably best off just buying them from Big Bad Toy Store, the whole wave at once. Some of these, like these two figures, you can get pretty cheap, but what's the point? Because then you're going to have to pay a lot for it. I don't think Bat Dick Grayson Batman's too expensive, but Alfred, Red Hood, and to an extent, Robin are kind of pricey. So I think you're better off just getting the whole wave from Big Bad Toy Store. Alright, so let's see. Now I'm an opener. I have been waiting for Red Hood. Um, I started my Mattel collecting or DC Comics action figure collecting with the DC Universe Classic line. It ended and eventually became DC Multiverse. And it's got mostly this, it's the same style figure but slightly different sculpting and stuff. And they made the Grant Morrison Red Hood in their subscription line, which was the, like, fi the final days of DC Universe's classics. Um, and a lot of us were upset because we, this is the Red Hood we wanted, the leather jacket. So as you can also see, he comes with an alternate head if you want Jason Todd's face out there. Um, alternate hands to look like he's holding guns or whatever, or um, punching. Yet he does not come with any guns. Oh no, wait, I stand corrected. 
Very good. Very oh, but they are they are built into his holster. All right. Not a terrible situation because I'm sure I can find plenty of handguns from various figures that I already have. Um, in fact, I got this Black Widow figure. Maybe, I don't know, those are little dainty guns. He's going to need bigger ones than that. Alright. I think Crossbones came with enough guns that maybe I can use his. Alright. So, as always with these Mattel figures, I'm cautious to be um, let down because they, generally speaking, are not as great as the Hasbro Marvel Legends figures. He looks good. Um, no guns, though. That is cheap, in my opinion. Um, Hasbro would have had guns that would fit in his holsters <laughs> and, um, and that you could take out. Let's see. Alright. So his head... Yeah, you can twist it around on um, me. You know, it doesn't look like it's meant to have look up like a Hasbro figure nowadays. They are made so that they can look up and down. That's no big deal. He's got an ab crunch, which is nice. Um, they look like it for a while there, Mattel was trying to phase that out for cost purposes, probably, obviously. Um, and it was really hurting my interest in buying any of the figures because, I don't know, I don't pose it per se, but I like the option. Got your arm... The elbow, um, the wrist twists around, and yeah, he can put his um, hands forward and back, which is nice. They didn't cheap on do the cheap route on that. As you can see, the jacket is nice. Um, you could probably get it taken off if you wanted, but since he's got leather, made it made to look like leather sleeves, of course you're gonna want to keep that on. You can twist his waist around. Which accidentally brought his belt holster with it. Alright, so then you got your standard legs, hips, knees. Sorry, I don't even know if I was not in the shot. Ankle, rockers. Um, yeah, he's good. He's good. I just, yeah, that gun was issue was just kind of surprising. Uh, makes me almost wonder if the people that made the figure... Because they had to consider, hey, should he come with guns? It almost makes me wonder if they thought, hey, the toy collectors can get guns from other figures. Or if it's some kind of political issue where they didn't want guns. But I don't think that's the case. I'm pretty sure they've got other figures with guns. Um, but he is a nice looking figure. The color, it's a really nice red. Um, thanks for watching. And soon, I, basically, I opened this video or made this video so I could open him and review him, and to get the Killer Croc piece. That is coming very soon. I'm about to build the Killer Croc and review that figure. All right, so stay tuned. Hope everything's going well for you. See ya.